In a busy market, people are trading. Suddenly a warning sound came. Everyone started running around. The bustling market in an instant turned into a mobile castle. They started to run away. The main actress, Hester, through binoculars, saw the moving city of London in the distance. If the small town is caught, it will be eaten by London City. Unfortunately, the engine in the small town of Hester malfunctioned. It cannot start. When the city of London opened its mouth to swallow the small town, the engine has already started. Then the small town started to pick up speed. The inhabitants of the city of London screamed, chased and dated. This film has built the world scene after thousands of years. A battle that destroyed world civilization, divided the world into two forces. People then lived on giant wheels to compete for resources. Big city swallows small city. At this time the mayor of the city of London, Magnus gave orders, use all our strength to chase the small town. With great speed, the small town lost its food and water. Seeing the distance growing farther and farther, the people of the small town began to celebrate. But the city of London doesn't let it get away so easily. The mayor directly gave the order to throw the fishing line into the small town. The small town was captured. The residents of London cheered. The city of London began to open its mouth wide and easily swallow the small town. Therefore, the main actress was also arrested to London, but she seems to be planning something. The mayor told the people in the small town that they were going to be Londoners, but they have to do heavy work like porters. This man's name is Tom, an employee of the London Museum. The girl next door is Catherine, the mayor's daughter. That day Tom took her to visit ancient science and technology. Here, models of millions and Apple phones have become antiques. Arriving in a room, Tom opened her a leftover video. As we all know, this is the human city of the 21st century. Earth is destroyed by a nuclear weapon. In the blink of an eye, it destroyed the world civilization. They call it Medusa. To prevent it, there must be a key similar to this USB. Tom went to the lowest floor of the city of London. Here, the small town's metal is cut to form resources. Tom goes to get the spoils what is valuable to put in the museum. Valentine shows off to Tom. He found a battery. Tom told him the object was dangerous, but Valentine doesn't care. After Hester in the dark corner saw Valentine, she slowly approached. She pulled out her dagger and stabbed Valentine hard while asking him if he still remembered her mother. Hearing the woman's name, Valentine was astounded. Tom's arrival prevented Hester's assassination. During the struggle, Hester accidentally revealed his face. The plan was failed. Hester turned and ran. Tom also quickly chased after. Valentine recovered his spirits hugged his wound, and entered the elevator. Hester and Tom went to the decomposition room. Seeing that there was no way to escape, she also saw Valentine chasing after her in the elevator. For survival, Hester jumped into the sewer. At the moment of danger, Tom saved her. She tells Tom, Valentine murdered her mother. Then she let go of Tom's hand and jumped down. When Valentine chased, Tom unintentionally repeated what Hester just said. In order to hide the secret, he kicked Tom down. Fortunately, Tom and Hester did not die. Hester was very angry. She had waited six months for the opportunity to assassinate this time. But Tom destroyed it. Tom begs Hester to let him go with her for leaving town. What awaits him is only death. Just like that, the two started their journey. When she was thirsty, she had to drink dirty water. When she was hungry, she had to eat bread left over from a thousand years ago. At this time, Valentine is being scolded by the mayor because London's resources are also running out. In fact, Valentine soon saw the harm and the great fish eating the small. He's planning a big conspiracy. Going to the laboratory, Valentine brought the battery and gave it to the white-haired woman. The woman told him that if the experiment was to be successful, more batteries were needed. She also told Valentine that they had caught a man who was being held in prison. He lived in the world 1,000 years ago. Knowing the news, he flew to the prison on the sea. He met that person. Valentine heard the survivor was always screaming Hester's name. After questioning, he learned that the survivor was still looking for Hester. Because Hester was cursed, he had to kill her. Valentine got on the plane, he wanted to use this person to kill people. So he launched a bomb back to the prison to release the survivor. When the survivor was released, he lost all good feelings. In his head there was only killing. Even though he is still on the outside, he has a human brain. At this time, the two of them ran away but were captured by the slaves. They were then imprisoned in a room. Hester talked about his past. Her mother is an archaeologist. Valentine is her father. That day, her mother discovered a box with a special pattern. And this box is what can control nuclear weapons. Valentine, wanting to monopolize the box, killed her mother, then scratched Hester's face. Before she died, Hester's mother gave her a necklace in the shape of an eye. She told her to take good care of it. The next day, when the two were put up for auction, a woman wearing sunglasses appeared. Her name is Anna. She is the leader of the Peace Alliance. On that day, the human world divided into two major alliances. One is a mechanical alliance to kill each other. 
The other is a peaceful alliance established by Anna. She wants to buy Hester for 50 dong, but Hester is being wanted by Valentine. The reward for the person who catches her is up to 50,000 dongs. The slave owner instantly recognized Anna. He wanted to capture her to receive the reward. But at this moment, Anna raised her gun and shot him directly. Tom and Hester took the opportunity to escape. Unexpectedly, the two did not run far when they encountered the survivor Shirak. You can't run away. The two immediately ran, but the big wheels couldn't stop Shirak at all. In an emergency, Anna flew the airship and launched a cannon to its Shirak, then released the rope to pull the two people up. However, Shirak caught the rope, and the helicopter wobbled about to fall. Fortunately, Tom used a knife to cut the rope, so they were lucky to escape danger. Why Shirak wanted to hunt down Hester? Turns out that year Hester was saved by Shirak. Shirak adopted her. For letting Hester be with him forever, even treating Hester as a daughter, in order to make Hester forget his hatred. Shirak proposes to convert her into a cyborg. To this proposal, Hester agreed, but the arrival of the city of London changed her mind. She decided to avenge her mother. She ran away from Shirak with a grudge, which made him angry. So he wanted to kill her. Anna brings the two to the city in the air. Here, she told the truth about finding Hester. Hester's mother is Anna's best friend. She had told Anna to keep an eye on Valentine. Anna recently heard that Valentine is doing a very dangerous experiment. If we want to stop Valentine, we must find a mystical object. When everyone didn't know what to do, Shirak found them. But for him, ammunition wasn't a problem. Everyone here isn't a match for him. Fortunately, Anna used the hidden weapon hidden on her leg to hit Shirak's chest to gain time for everyone to escape. Shirak chases Hester, Tom steps forward to stop, the result is very clear. When the survivor wanted to kill Tom, Hester cried and begged him to spare Tom. Look at Hester's teary eyes, the resurrected man decided to let Hester go, and gave Hester the remains of her mother. The oath is no longer valid. I have decided to let you go. Hester. Shirak who lived over 1000 years, passed away. The past memory in Shirik's eyes was unwillingness. Now, after the experiment was successful, Valentine activated the nuclear weapon. Faced with the mayor's objections, Valentine directly gave him a shot. He wants to use nuclear weapons to rebuild the new world. Anna represents everyone back to the Alliance. After learning about Valentine's actions, she immediately set up a line of cannons and airships to destroy it. But these are not enough to deter nuclear power. An energy wave destroyed all the battleships. Even the fortified city wall was riddled with a large hole. When Hester saw the mark on the wall, she thought of the relic left by her mother. She opened the relic, and discovered it was the key to destroy the nucleus. Anna volunteered to join Hester, to destroy nuclear weapons. But facing the terrorist attacks of the city of London, their teammates in turn sacrificed. It was also thanks to the support of her teammates, that Anna and Hester smoothly entered London. Under Anna's support, Hester successfully closed the nucleus, but Anna had to sacrifice her life. Medusa is off, but the city of London continued to move forward. If it continued to move forward, it would collide with the peaceful alliance. Tom defied everyone's opposition to fly the plane into the center of London's propulsion engine to destroy the engine area, then even save Hester. For to end all of this, Tom shot down Valentine's plane on the run. Valentine fell, his body fell under the great wheels of London. In the end, the peace alliance accepted the innocent inhabitants. Hester and Tom on the plane began to find a new life. The visual effects of this film are absolutely visually shocking. Steampunk version of the mobile city. The ruined world plus the magnificent deserted city in the air. Brighten everyone's eyes. In the end, that historic battle was extremely special. But Shirik's ending made the audience a bit disappointed. If there is a second season, hopefully, he can be revived. Thank you for watching. See you next week.